So firstly, off, congratulations Thanks. on winning the two prizes. Obviously, you've won your category and the overall it's prize. Crazy. Can you believe that? No, I can't. It's really happening. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, it's obviously, crazy. it's a big thing, isn't it? It's not just it's a, a big small thing. It's physically a big it's thing. Big. It's heavy. Yeah. Look at the way you're at. Heavy. Where are you even going to put that? I don't know. I don't know. In the loop. Mm. <laughs> So can you please tell us a little bit about what your book's about? First? Okay, yeah. So my book is about uh, so a about a little penguin called Penguin Blue who, um, who uh, gets a kite and he takes it out flying on a windy day and um, he gets blown away by the wind. If I can look, see what I did there. And, uh, and he gets blown away and some friends of his from the Antarctic try to stop, try to help him and they get blown away too and in the end there's a whole crew who get blown over, over the sea and they end up in, a, in an environment that, that they're not used to. A kind of very hot jungle environment, and then they need to think of a way of getting back home. Again. Oh, I'm not going to tell you what happens in the end, no, but it's, it. a, it's a picture book, so yeah. you can probably imagine. Yeah. It's got a happy end. So, how did you write the book? What did you well, basically think about? How so the, like well, the book started out actually as a story. It wasn't about penguins at all. It was just about a couple of kids mm-hmm. who had flights and got blown. They they lived in London. They got blown over sea, and they stopped. They stopped, um, they stopped by the zoo and picked up a polar bear and they kind of took this polar bear back to his natural habitat in the Arctic and then got blown home again. But uh, the reason I changed it, I switched it to the uh, penguin story was because I was, at the time I was, I was taking another book that I'd written around to various publishers and two of them said they really liked some penguin characters that I had in my portfolio. So I, and they said, can you come up with a story for penguins? So I thought, oh, I've got another story. I think penguins can't fly, and I thought it would be nice to get penguins up in the air with their kite. Yeah. So I just basically, you know, I'm going to be a bit Alan Pot, no, a bit Ricky Gervais, <laughs> put the two together, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. and then we had blown away. And then I wrote it after that, I kind of tweaked it and wrote it really quickly, and then this happened. This happened. The next thing I know, <laughs> this. So, did you reach? What do you think of the evening? Do you think it's a good idea it's to amazing. have a prize like this? I love the I, I love the fact that there's a prize for first time. I think, I think it's, it's first, first and two second first and second books. Yeah. Um, because it's really hard. It's really hard for us guys starting out in the industry. It's really hard to get your foot in the door. It's really hard to even get an agent, and you can't submit to publishers until you get an agent. So it's a real. I mean, it's, I feel like it's a real achievement to even get a book in front of a publisher, let alone get one published. So for an award to recognise first time authors in this, uh, in, from, I'm talking about from the picture book point of view, but from, from any kind of, any kind of uh, writing for young people point of view, it's just a brilliant thing. It's a brilliant thing. Obviously I think it's a brilliant thing. Yeah. Hello, you've done well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think you're going to continue with picture books or are you going to move on to something else? No, I, like, I, love the, I love the medium of the picture book. It's quite unusual, I think, in, amongst, amongst kind of, in the creative world that you can kind of totally own something yourself, you know, so I write the story and I, and I draw the pictures. It's a bit like the only thing I can kind of, I imagine that it's a bit similar to is directing a film, you know, except you also cast the characters and you write the screenplay and you're the director of the company. You get to, basically, I'm, you, I'm, a, you are God, I'm, I'm a control freak. <laughs> yeah. I like to do everything myself and this, and this medium totally suits me and I just love doing it. I love doing it. And I've written my, my second book to finish. It's done. So that would be me on the So yes. Can you tell us anything about it? Or? Uh, I can tell you, I don't know actually. I, it's about a bear called Fred who loses his growl. There you go. Yeah. Sneaky. Man. Little sneaky. Well, thank you for talking to us. Not at all. Thank you for talking to me. Have fun out there. I will. I'll have a nice fun night, I think. <laughs>